Hey, what's up guys, Joshua's Boost here and welcome back to another gameplay Digimon video. Today I have a round from Locals featuring myself playing Examon. Uh, the decklist actually up on the channel, which I will uh, post in the link somewhere in the video. Against uh, Thais playing uh, Gallantmon, which is a deck I think I've never featured on the channel uh, before. Um, and it's one of the decks that Examon should have a pretty good matchup against, right? Because, um, for two reasons actually. Firstly, Examon has a pretty good matchup into most of the big stack decks, right? And Gallantmon is one of those decks, you know, that basically rely on one single stack to win the game. Uh, but also, Gallantmon relies on deleting uh, your Digimon by card effects. And of course, Examon has access to the evade mechanic, um, which literally prevents exactly that from happening. Uh, but yeah, Bo having a decent start here. Uh, I go into Cordramon at uh, on my first turn, and so my opponent goes into the EX3 Groudmon and then into Takado, putting me to 3, which allows me to play Dracomon to a not pass turn. I actually reviewed double Groudramon and Wingramon here. Uh, if I remember correctly, I had a Groudramon in hand, so I that's why I decided to pick up the the Wingramon, because technically uh, Groundramon is a little bit more important to have access to than Wingramon. Even though in this matchup, uh, particularly, maybe Wingramon is uh, equally as good. And here, um, basically I just want to give my opponent two memory. Uh, that's the most important thing. Uh, because if I give him three memory, that means he will be able to go into a War Groundmon without passing turn. So that's why I decided to not go into the Wingramon in the back, but instead go into the Quartermon in the front. And here he's going to go into the uh, EX3 War Groundmon. We're both gonna mill three cards, but then nothing is gonna happen since neither of us will have five cards in the in the trash. Um, yeah, so the mill is not really being relevant here, and that's uh, gonna put me to one. Um, and here I make um, like I haven't played against Gallantmon that much, like just a few games uh, ever. So I'm not super aware of uh, what the deck. Uh, or what all the cards in the deck do I I suppose, which is why here I decide to go into the ground one in the back and in hindsight probably going into wing one in the front would have been uh, better. Uh, yes, the stack in the back obviously it can't get deleted and if I want to next turn I can just hard play the wing one and then 100% go into examon right. However, if I went to the wing one in the front here he couldn't have uh, deleted it with. Um, the ground one X antibody, and here he potentially uh, he potentially could do that because he can delete a 6k uh, Digimon. I think he can delete an 8k with the Gallantmon, uh, that's what I should say, rather. But now he's just uh, which I could have prevented, of course, if I went for the uh, the Wingramon because it could have done a fate, and then uh, you know, when he attacked, he would have already de uh, declared attack on my security so. Yeah, but now he's going to gain uh, two memory because of the effect of the War Common X and of the Takado. So he's going to keep turn and then do one security check with 14,000 draw from Gijimon. And yeah, he's just going to do one check. Uh, however, my opponent is very unlucky because he actually hits into the <laughs> 15k Death X here. Death X is not very good in this, ma this matchup, ex except for in this very specific scenario. Um, but yeah, he still does have... Uh, you know, it's still his turn, because he did gain the 2 memory. And he is going to uh, be able to start building up a second stack right away, going to the Gilmon and then to the Growlmon from the structure deck, I think. And yeah, basically if I want to write, I can just play out the... Or promote the Ground Drummon here, and then just play out the Wing Drummon and um, go into Examon that way. Or if I do have access to Slayer Drummon, it's very strong as well, of course. But I'm pretty sure, like, I didn't have access to a Slayer Drummond, but I need to kind of start setting up something here, right? So, uh, Examon is still very threatening. It means he won't be able to promote his guy because uh, when Examon attacks, I can suspend and unsuspend Examon and then just run over it. So, he's basically forced to build up in the back. And as we can see here, I'm not putting anything under the Examon because I don't think there's any uh, abilities I can grant that doesn't already have and there was no point in putting a redundant Cordramon or something like that under it but I do play out the Break Drummon there which of course is very strong to have on the field uh, also in the case that the Examon would get deleted it's nice to have because it means uh, I at least have some aggression there and of course the on-field effect where if you uh, if a Digimon is deleted by Examon or Dramon then uh, trash the top security cards very strong Anyway, we're going to see War Groundmon here, and now he will be able to play out either a Takado or a Gilmon uh, with the effect, because I, of course I did have to put him to um, on a lot of memory. 
put him to five, I think. So he still has two memory left. Going to go into Gumon. Or get back to Gumon uh, EX3, then go into Gumon X antibody. And here uh, it goes into the War Gaumon, so you can give both my guys the effect where if they get deleted, uh, I lose a memory. And then he's going to go into the Gallant one here. Uh, but it's it can't delete one of my uh, either of my ditch one because they are simply too big, too too much GP. And here he's going to actually trigger the Takato to um, to swing. However, uh, that's of course a little bit of a misstep. Here I'm reading like just make sure it doesn't have like a crazy DP boost or anything like that, and it doesn't. Uh, but my opponent here wasn't quite aware that Xamon actually had the had blocker. So this is basically just uh, ends the game right here, right? Because I get out of the second stack and uh, Trash is top security and now um, it is my turn as well. So I can just attack over his Gilman next turn and then he will have an need another turn to go into, uh, in raising, basically go into Gilman. Then he will most likely have to pass turn by going into Groundmon if I can put him to one, which I should be able to if I do have a level um, level four here. And then at that point it should be game right because now I'm just going to swing, unsuspend, Trash is top security with the Break drum on, then swing with the break drum on. Maybe I shouldn't have done this, like because it's 12k, which does die to uh, Gantmon X antibody, and I think one of the Gantmon, uh, the regular ones as well. So, but uh, it doesn't really matter, right? Because even if it did get deleted, I don't think my opponent could have done anything anyway. And then next turn I would have had enough attacks for game regardless. And here he's just going to go into the Gilmon Searcher and that's just... Uh, yeah, that means it's over, right? Because now Xmon can go check. And then suspend the Gilmon, then break from can run over the, the Gilmon trash top security and then it's just uh, just game. Unless something really ha crazy happens with the first security check, but uh, don't really see that happening. And yeah, it's just the Gilmon, so uh, exactly what I said was... Going to happen is going to happen there, and uh, yeah, X one quite easily takes the takes the game. Uh, honestly, I think even if the like the Gantmon wouldn't have uh, get leaded by the X one blocking, that I don't really see how Gantmon would have won this game. Either way, so uh, no Slayer Dramon, but still uh, the X one providing enough uh, control of the board basically to uh, to win the game. And here my opponent is going to up to go first. Which he's going to do by hatching Gigimon and then going into Gumon probably. Uh, this game is really funny actually, but you're, you're going to see that. Going to the structure deck, the warp uh, evil uh, Gumon, evolve to the X antibody. And then he is going to. I'll play Fireball to draw two cards. Which is uh, which is nice. Like if you don't have to ground one, this is definitely uh, pretty uh, pretty good. Hatch Baby do go into Dracomon. And then I am going to, uh, yeah, so basically I bricked pretty hard uh, this game. I had like, um, I think three or four level fives in my hand. Uh, so what I decided to do is just, I just play the Winged Ramon, since again it has to evade, so it's like kind of safe against uh, whatever my opponent is going to do. Um, I do put him to five though, so he can potentially go into War Gromon and keep turn and then go to Gallantmon. Um, but I, yeah, he won't be able to play out the Takato with the... With the War Gaumon from EX3, since he has only one card in uh, in Trash, and I have zero. Uh, so he won't be able to get the Blitz effect, but as we see here, he actually also bricks, and he also has to hard play uh, a Digimon. And he's going to hard play the, the War Gaumon EX3 here. So a little bit of uh, not what you would expect, but I go into Slayer Drummond here. Um, which is strong, but it's not quite as strong because it doesn't have blocker. However, uh, I do have uh, the most broken card in the deck, especially alongside Slayer Drummond uh, in my hands, uh, which is Ice Wall, of course, which is going to allow me to memory choke him to one and basically just steal his turn. Because here he's going to hatch, then start the main phase, I'm just going to force him to attack, and then he's going to lose two memory, and it is my turn again, which is insanely strong, of course. Absolutely crazy. So he's going to swing with the Gilmon. I'm going to unsuspend the Slayer Dramon. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to check security. And he hits into uh, the Blocker Core Dramon. So, yeah, uh, definitely not a strong start. But this definitely gives me a little bit more time to set up. And what's really strong is that he actually doesn't even get the opportunity to evolve in raising, right? So uh, that's very, very good for me. I do evolve into Modoki Beta there in the back to draw another card. 
I'm just doing a little thing here. Going to uh, swing with the Dracomon, hit into uh, Graumon, so Dracomon's going to let get lead it. And what I do here is, uh, I think it's a good play. I'm going to swing with the Slayer Dramon, and now like it doesn't really matter what it hits because it's going to unsuspend before uh, checking. So if it would hit something that would delete it, uh, it can just uh, use evade even if it uh, would die by battle. So I could swing safely no matter what, and then still play out the Ground Dramon and just uh, DNA evolve end of turn into. Examon and just like that we have the uh, the stack with Invade Blocker and the Slayer Dramon and I play out, let's see, uh, just another Slayer Dramon, just to have a little bit more aggro, right? This means I will have 5 attacks next turn, which is uh, <laughs> which should be uh, should be enough to finish up the game. And here I can also force his, um, yeah, his level 5 to attack with the Slayer Dramon and then I can just block it with the Examon and uh, then uh, this basically shoots, it should seal the game. But let's be honest, like, what's really sealed the game was, uh, was the Ice Wall, which is just so good in this deck, like... Ice Wall paired with the Slayer Dramon, absolutely crazy. But yeah, he's just going to build up uh, the stack here, but, like, it doesn't really matter, right? Don't think there's literally anything he can do to not uh, lose the game on the next turn. Yeah, he's just making sure uh, what the Examon effect is, so he's, he has, like... Uh, with the suspension effect, and he's like, okay, so I can't really play anything out either, but yeah, he has, <laughs> he has to do something, he has no level 4, and he just, basically for memes, he plays out the, the Gallantmon X antibody. I read it just to make sure, like, there's no, like, on-play effect or effect on my turn that would somehow make this uh, a threat, but there there isn't, right? So I swing with the Examon first here, which is a little bit of a misplay, I, I should have swung with the Madoki Betamon just so, uh, to play around Fireball, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. And I just played safer. I'm going to swing over the the Gallantmon, then swing with the Madoki, and now my Slayer Dramon will be able to attack twice. Um, yeah. And uh, then just attack twice <laughs> for uh, for a game, so <laughs> really weird game too, but uh, fun nonetheless, and a uh, pretty cool showcase for Examon. GG.